the new Phantom 4 Pro from DJI. Now, this is a lot of drone for me. I have another drone and, and it records video, but I have not been able to load something that's good enough. Uh, but it did help me in um, practicing and getting ready for this. This one here, it's uh, the SEMA X5 SC. And uh, this was a pretty good drone. Uh, I don't know the price because it was a gift. But pretty much this is it. So I have not done a review on this. I just got my battery in. I'm about to fly it for you guys. Now, as you can see, it does have the camera. So it's pretty cool. And there it is. Okay, so thank you. You know who you are, special people that gifted this for me. Uh, we had a lot of fun making videos with it. The kids love it. I chase the kids in the house with this thing. It's 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 beautiful. Uh, if you want a starter drone, SEMA is a pretty good one. All right, so that out of the way, back to our main subject. Now, uh, on another note, they did get me, real quick, the backpack for it. I will be using this, uh, so thank you. All right, so let's see what we got here, guys. First of all, a very good case. It's got the name on there, the Phantom, and it's got a lock on it. So this thing is not going to pop open, right? So this thing works this way. You pop this out like that. And then it shows you on there to turn that key. Turns this way. And here it is. Now what that turning of the key does is uh, it's got this hook. Okay. Now. The reason why I'm showing you guys all this is because many of you want to get this drone one day and that's why I'm, I'm real quick I'm going over kind of like a little unboxing and instructive uh, video but at the same time I want to share with you what we're getting right so here it is okay so and and what we have is uh, first of all the the drone at the very top uh, 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 oh. Let me... The remote out first. The reason is because this piece right here wants to touch the camera, which is this right here. If you tie, uh, if you try to take the drone out first. Okay, so it's best to take the remote out first because the camera on the drone wants to hit this piece right here. Uh, this one does not have a screen. Uh, but in a way, I think it is better to use your own. Okay, now we can take it out. Bam. So it comes with, a, with this plastic protector for the camera. This is the lens, okay. So, take it off, snap it out, snap it out from this bottom, and there's your camera. So here's a protector, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the case out of the way and get everything out real quick. Got some paperwork, some instructions, a bag of propellers, charger, USB adapters, a longer USB adapter, power cord. It comes with a little bag of desiccant. This is very important. It um, absorbs uh, any moisture. I'm even gonna find some more and drop them in here. Okay, so we get the box out of the way. Lock it back up. Box out of the way. All right. So 
first things first, charge the battery. Battery charger. You can charge the remote with this and the battery with this. So there's the front of the drone. In the back, you got the battery. Back of the drone, battery. So this is how you test it. You press that button and it shows you that it's full. I did charge it uh, a few minutes ago. Okay, uh, the, the remote charges on the side right here. So you got the remote right here on the side on your right hand side of the controller right here. This one you check the level of the battery. It's gonna show the LED indicators right here by pressing the power button once. All right, first things first. The propellers have a little plastic cover. Boom, take that out. Uh, the ones with the black ring around them, which is this one, okay, the black ring, it's gonna go on the motors that have a black button or the black uh, dots. And this one has the black dots. So black ring, black dots, and what you want to do is hold the motor. I'm going to turn this till it finds its place where uh, it goes in and it's uh, spring loaded. Once it does that, then you turn it to lock it. The silver ring around this uh, ball right here goes on the ones that don't have a dot. Silver, don't have a dot. Black ring on the ones that have a dot. Okay, so I'm gonna snap the battery back in here. And it only goes one way. You got this uh, buttons up here, up here and down here. It's best that you press them to slide it in and lock it. So that's in there secure. All right, for a screen, I'm gonna be using an iPad, a mini iPad from Apple. Uh, they, they recommend, when you look outside the box, they recommend and they say that this thing is mainly made for Apple products. But the strange thing is that all, the, all your USB connection, all your USB wires are not Apple. They're gonna be like the Android style. So here's an Apple style connector. And this is what comes with it, which is like an Android phone or Android tablet connection. So I'm using my wife's iPhone charger and using this Apple mini iPad. There's a USB connection down at the bottom. My Apple wire. So here's my rig, right? Apple mini. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power the app on first. So we've already downloaded the DJI app. Here it is. And what I'm gonna do now is turn the drone on. I'm gonna hold, uh, press the button once and then hold it for the second time. I'll do the same with the remote. Press it once and hold it the second time. And the app says up here that it's disconnected. But I see the camera, I see the screen. Okay, it says ready to go. It says vision. Now, watch this. I'm gonna move the camera. There's my setup. So here's a little startup. I might not fly it. There's a lot of stuff around here. But I'm just gonna turn the propellers on. So I'm gonna, oh, I keep pressing this button down here. There's a, a, a customizable buttons down below the controller. And I keep pressing those. Okay, so what I was saying is that you have to pull both of the 
joysticks towards the corners at the same time to start it. not gonna fly this thing in this little room but um, looks like it's ready to go there's a little bit of shaking that I saw uh, so I'm gonna have to check that tomorrow need to calibrate it outside and hopefully we get to enjoy this thing so I'll turn it on one more time Those alarms are telling me, uh, and it says here, three feet. It says three feet there, and it says three feet there, which means the sensors are detecting the walls in front of it, behind it. So it's not a good thing to take off in here. Okay, so. Uh, to turn the propellers off, all I had to do is uh, pull the left trigger all the way down and hold it for a couple of seconds, and that turns it off. So, guys, uh, I don't know if I'm going to input the first um, video here. If not, just come back, and uh, we'll be checking out all these new videos. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my new toy. Uh, this is for the vlogs, so they're going to get better, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please like uh, our videos uh, so that it'll show us that we're actually doing something that you guys like. Thank you. So I'm going to hover it a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit uh, inside the house. But the alarms are telling me that I'm too close to something. Six feet, which is balcony down here. So here it is. Now look at the camera, I'm going to move the camera, so we're looking at that table, so the drone is looking under the table, and yeah the alarms keep going off. So to turn it off, I'm going to press it once and then hold the power button again. Now, another note, uh, this is the return home button for emergencies. Uh, another thing that I saw on the manual is that if you bring this button all the way to the corner and hold the home button, it stops the motors in the middle of the air and just drops. That's like if you think it's about to really cause some injury you can just kill it and let it drop. Alright so this is it. I'll press it once and then hold it on the second one. I'll do the same for the drone. <laughs> 